You ever look at uh, the end of your shoelace, there's that little plastic piece. Uh, it's actually called an aglet, and, and what it's meant to do is to keep the end of your shoelace from fraying and coming apart, right? So it has a protective mechanism. Um, and I actually didn't know what that was called until I worked uh, on a project a while back. Uh, back in the, in the corporate days, I worked with uh, what was essentially an executive health type program. I worked with a doctor, and, and she had written this book about these aglets that actually exist in your body. Uh, at the end of your DNA, at the end of uh, your chromosomes, there is uh, essentially what is an aglet. It's called a telomere. And a telomere is sort of this insurance piece of code at the end of your uh, your chromosomes that protect it from damage. And once that chromosome becomes damaged, it doesn't replicate properly. And then that's when you start to have like cell death and aging and that kind of thing, right? So the longer this little tail is, this aglet at the end of your DNA, the more protected your DNA is from, from damage, right? Now there's things that actually speed up that almost like it was like a, uh, maybe a fuse to a dynamite, you know, old cartoons, you'd see like how it run down. The longer this aglet is, the longer it's gonna be before you start to have damage in your cell. Now there are things that you can do to actually speed up the damage or slow it down. In order to slow it down, what you're literally doing is giving the, the telomerase, that's the thing that actually repairs it, enough time to fix it up. Now there's things like stress, sleep, inflammation, uh, proper nutrition, exercise, these things are all have an influence on your telomeres, right? And the more you practice good habits, the big rocks that we've talked about in these uh, areas, the more that this thing stays lengthened. Uh, and then again, that, that gives you more longevity. And one of the, the end results is that I'm trying to help you live a more fulfilled life through my coaching, through my practices. Uh, but not only do I want it to be fulfilled, you can also have it a longer life. So there's something more to all this than just your aesthetics and your performance. Like you're going to get better health from it. Now, there are always going to be those people that argue like my uncle, he's uh, 407. He uh, does dynamite fishing. He jumps off cliffs. Uh, he smokes 17 packs of cigarettes a day, drinks a case of, of beer and, and blah, 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 blah. And he's still living. Let's not look at that as an example, right? Like, who knows? Maybe if he wasn't doing all this stuff that damages the telomeres, maybe he could live even longer, right? So we can't look at that. And maybe he just happens to have longer telomeres to begin with. And that's a genetic advantage he just has. But we can't look at that as the rule. It's the exception, right? So what I want you to do is practice the habits to help you to keep your aglets, your telomeres longer. Because that way you're more... You're giving yourself a better chance. You're doing what you can to, to give yourself the longevity that you desire. And that's all you can do. Of course, you can't affect your genetics, but you can affect your lifestyle and your habits. So the next time you bend down to tie up your shoe, you're looking at a little plastic thing, that aglet, I want you to remember, that's like your telomere and you have the opportunity on a daily basis, maybe even when you're wearing your shoes, uh, to help you take care of your telomeres so that they take care of you.